After dragging him through the rock, he helps the Kaioken trying to kick Jiren's head off, but he dodges and grabs his leg again, again. to throw him down. He manages to recover, but look. Ooh, he coming in with that mean sh You recovered that fall when I threw you, but you don't see me coming in with this. Bro, he's coming down with that motherfucker. And hammer, bro, full force. All right, man, we got a super video. This is how Jiren, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'm not gonna lie. Made his ops feel powerless in a tournament of power. Hey, man, this arc of Dragon Ball Z I've never experienced. So let's experience it together. So the super, let's get it. It's time to talk about Jiren. I knew he was trouble when I saw that Jiren. Shin build. Now that build crazy. And the shit he did in essentially 48 minutes was crazy. A new rule prohibiting the use of healing items, which was announced right before the tournament started. The match will last 100 tag, approximately 48 minutes on Earth. So before we get into the first main fight, let's talk yeah, about the light snacks. Green. That boy Jiren had to flex on him real quick. Had to show he's a part of the ball demon. I'm talking MJ, Kobe, Saitama, Not Krillin, Aang, Not Krillin. Kratos, and Megamind. Y'all get the point. And the first person to experience his power was Broleisha. She was out there wrong, putting Goku in the Hulk animation, and even taking out one of the Pride Troopers. Did that boy dirty. Took him out and started screaming to let everybody know what just happened. And then after that, the camera pans to Jiren's squad and they're just all posted up. Every one of them acting on phase of the power she's showing off. But she ain't fooling me. I saw how he did your dog or whatever he's supposed to be over there. Uh, you all can't be like that. The There's that, some fraud. That nigga a fucking, what the fuck was he? Up there who are not really trying to see her in the ones for real. Frauds. But hey, I can respect y'all for locking in for the photo. Unlike Krillin, he could take a few notes. Jaren is standing there, arms folded and eyes closed, and eyes look at how closed? he jumps off the block. Oh. Nah, he's really one of the dudes that be trying to make anything they do look cool. Cause it doesn't end there. He catches Broleisha trying to off his own sister and stops it. The blast sends her up and he turns around, arms folded, hitting that legendary finish. Ooh. Jiren knew it was cold too. He even looked at the camera to see if they got it. So the next Dorito oh. bag was him. Bro was so irrelevant, they didn't add him in Sparking Zero. And they be adding anybody. He uh. tries to sneak attack Jiren, but this bro comes in and takes him away. Talking about some, I got this. But honestly, I'm still questioning how Burrow's in front of him. He started off jumping behind him. Why is he over there now? The kick has him sliding to the rock, and Dispo sends a blast that leaves a DJ Khaled sized bite on the wall like please have mercy. And Dispo's a real dickhead because he's just like, I got you, bro. Jumps up, does a whole backflip, and kicks him in the face. But Lil bro, bro has he did a backflip with one leg and then landed on the other, bro. Bro, jumps up, does a whole backflip and he bro he was prominent with the other leg i promise you he was and then switch legs for no reason just bruh it was a real dickhead because he's just look, like i got you bro the left leg is so prompt look jumps up does a whole back doom doom and, and then oh my god oh my god kicks him in the nasty face. frame little bro had some iq on him he just like psych and then catches him like how Vegeta did boo. This shit gave me PTSD. He slams him to the ground, and it was Damn, looking like he was playing in the room like Jason Todd with no crowbar. Had him screaming like he got sentenced to five nights at Diddy's. Tabo's just like, he seems to be struggling. And I cannot lie, that build is crazy. Like, what were they going for when they drew him? That build and mustache just makes him look like he could be Dr. Eggman's grandfather. <laughs> but Jiren stops him in his tracks. He's just like, I'll handle it. He takes a couple steps forward, and his aura alone My made him de-equip the scissors. This will see that he's distracted <laughs> and uses this opportunity to escape. Jiren squares up, and he tries to do his best Luffy impression, increasing the size of his arm. But the second he swings, Jiren takes a step back and pushes him away. Oh my! Oh! Shit didn't even touch him for real. It the force it. just pushes him out the arena, and he wins like that. Then we see Goku watching, shook. But we all know that's not gonna stop him. And hey, look at the time. They're up next. So at this point in the tournament, Jiren's teammates are selling him. I know a Cavs 2017 roster when I see one. Look how many people are out. Jiren and Toppo are out there like Kyrie and Braun. And it's up to them to save their universe. Goku starts it off by firing a Kamehameha at Jiren. And Jiren's just standing there unimpressed. You would have thought it was a final flash that was thrown at him. He stands there and stares at the beam. And the Supreme Kai from the other universe anything, is just, just like, he's sorry. And you just know he had to pop out with that weak ass cut. Shit spans across multiple universes. This is what <laughs> happens when you don't be yourself. Goku hears them clowning him in the crowd, so he had to up his power on. He charges right at Jiren, but it still does no damage. Even Bro, nah, to just stand there and let... 
He's not even making eye contact with us. He's just standing there looking straight ahead. He has to up his power on. He charges right at Jaren, but it still Nothing. does no Nothing. damage. He even acts like he doesn't see him. He's trying to create a new archetype, the nonchalant bald head. That's the a nonchalant idea. bald head. Is <laughs> nonchalant bald head is hilarious. He goes Super Saiyan 2, and this time it actually moved. Okay, and if you he notice, moved a each bit. time he transforms, he breaks a barrier. First, he was hitting straight aura. Second, he actually touched him but didn't move him, and now his attack actually moved him. He skips three completely and goes to God form, which gets him the block, but it's only with one finger. And he Damn. continues to do this with all of his attacks, uh, with and that gave him flashbacks finger? of what he did as the trunks. He didn't want to give him any more ore, so he stopped and backed off. Said, all right, bet, and starts yelling right in front of him. Jiren was so unimpressed, he looked like the anime Stephen A. Smith, but Bruh. I still had hope for Goku. They gave him that clean blue animation, the same one Vegeta had, and then he does a standoff with Jiren. And I'm not gonna lie, the last time we saw some shit like this, it was Gohan versus Boo, and that shit didn't. And that shit didn't. Oh my god, look at how he got him up in the air like a little slut, bro. That shit did not pan out well last time. Look at it. Not end well. Look. Yes, yes. Goku starts it off with the punch though, starting all strong. It sends him into the rock and he pushes him through it. They come out and start boxing and I just Squabble. had to see if they got any hits in, in this exchange. So I slowed it down. Jiren Weep. kicks, he misses, and Goku punches hitting Jiren's arm. Jiren lands a kick to Damn. Goku's stomach and tries hitting him with the punch and misses. Goku throws a punch, misses. he dodges, and then connects a punch Damn. to Goku's face. Jiren dodges and hits him with the left sending him flying off. And this is where the combo gets lethal. Jiren teleports and stomps him down. Then he kicks him back up, making him move at the speed of light. And ah. ends him with a two-hand slam. Oh his... my, oh my god. Bro, he's literally dribbling this nigga. Kicked him down, punched him down, kicked him up, punched him down again. He playing basketball with this nigga. They're playing basketball. They want that bad. Bro, getting tossed like a salad, you see it? Down. Then he kicks him back up, making him move at the speed. Bruh. It's lethal. Jiren teleports and stomps him down. St oh, it was a stomp, so stomp down. Then he kicks him back up. Kicks him up. Making him move at the speed of light. That ends it with a two-hand slam. Oh, bruh. Absolutely not. Into his gut. And Jiren was really moving belligerent. He's laying there and Jiren teleports to him, grabs his leg, and hits his head on the Damn. wall. Trying Damn. to give him that CTE. Then he swung, swung his, body his body around, and Goku is fearing for his life <laughs> right now. After dragging him through the rock, he ups the Kaioken trying to kick Jiren's head off, but he dodges and grabs his leg again, again. to throw him down. He manages to recover, but look. Ooh, he coming in with that mean shit. You recovered that fall when I threw you, but you don't see me coming in with this. Bro. He's coming down with that motherfucking hammer, bro. Full force. Jiren is already on that. So my son Goku had to hit the quick time event to narrowly escape. Woo! But he was fast to go on the offensive as he charges a quick Kamehameha. Had Jiren off guard, but he ends up flipping out the way and jumps at him. That boy Goku was not trying to get hit with that grab animation again. So he started running by throwing burst two blasts at him and jumping away. Leave me alone! Jiren eventually catches up, grabbing his leg for bro, the third time. Bro, bro. <laughs> Yo, he doing him filthy. He keep like, la la la, la 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 la, la la la, play with my food, la la la. God damn. Time and throws him down. And honestly, bro, I'm feeling bad for Beerus. His best player is out there getting cooked and the opposing coach is in his ear making fun of him. I would have put up the Dukes right there. At this rate, we're about to get erased anyways. Who gonna save us, Vegeta? Goku comes back up with a vengeance and Jiren is not scared of him. He just blocks his attacks and sends him back down. And they started to box throughout the whole arena. But keep in mind, flying is not supposed to be allowed. So what am I looking at right now? There's no way them boxing from here to there is all one leap. They end up going into the sky and Jiren gut checks him and punches him back Damn. into the ground. Shit was looking grim. Jiren was out Knocked there living the out of him. Walks up to him while he's on all fours and steps directly on his spine. Oh yeah, my. this shit got Beerus on life support. But Jiren wasn't done violating. Cause then he proceeds to grab him by the hair. Look him in the eyes and tells him it's over. Gut checks him again Damn. and blasts him away, taking him Damn. off the And Jiren Ball. thought the job was done, so you know he had to hit the celly on him. 
But Goku was still in the fight. He was able to hold on to the ledge unlike Mufasa and get back up. Wow. Had the crowd hype as hell, but Jiren wasn't letting him get that one cold moment. Goku charges at Jiren and he tickles him with Bluetooth and sends him away. Whoa, whoa. And this causes what the him fuck to go was that move? What the fuck was that move? When did he unlock that one? Had the crowd hype as hell, but Jiren wasn't letting him get that one cold moment. Goku charges at Jiren and he tickles him. Didn't move a single muscle, bruh. With Bluetooth and sends him away. And this causes him to go to his last resort. He de transforms, jumps up to a high place, and we all know what's up. The last time he couldn't beat an opponent, he brought Ugh. out this very attack. He requested for everyone to give him energy, and they Ugh. do. Gohan, Piccolo, the androids, and not gonna lie, I would have never expected to see his evil ass contribute to a spirit bomb. And you know what's. Frieza contributed to a fucking spirit bomb? Not gonna lie, I would have never expected to see his evil ass contribute to a spirit bomb. And you know what's crazy? The dude that has a whole family back on Earth says, nah, fuck that. And decides to not help Goku beat the strongest opponent in the tournament. He'd rather die than help him up his 1v1 record. I respect the hate though, but he's not all bad. As Rebaran, the person who's one cheeseburger away from death, tries to snipe Goku. She was ADS and everything. And Vegeta ends up taking care of her. But the energy Goku had wasn't enough. Goku was just like, damn. If only I had more time. Side eye and Jiren, and he's just like, very well. I will wait till your attack is finished. <laughs> Goku gets more energy from the people very in the well. stands, and I'm not gonna lie. If I'm the other universes, I'm straight up snitching. You telling me they're out of the match and they're giving more energy to help Goku? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> I'm calling the Zenos to come get him. The ball of hope is finished, and it's time to see if Jiren got that dog in him. Goku throws it at him, and Brody does not this... move a muscle. Oh my, bruh. Just standing there like a Aki ass nigga, bro. Like, yep. yep. Which was sign number one. Goku was cooked. It finally reaches to him and stops. And then we see him push it away with one hand. And that's sign number two. He's oh. cooked. Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue. And Jiren is like, eh. Let me use two hands on him. Pushing it back to end Goku. So he ups the Kyle Ken and it stops it, but it wasn't enough to push it back. So he had to hit him with a times 20 and it successfully moves towards Jiren. Wipes ah. that nonchalantness off his face. And now he got to put in that elbow. He sends it back and Goku watches the ball roll towards These niggas playing hot potato with this motherfucker. Where is this motherfucker going to land? Because this is this, this some motherfucking power, don't you think? And he's just like, <sighs> this is all I got. He used every form and every move that he thought could defeat him. And now it's over. He's getting put in that interstellar cutscene and gets eviscerated from existence. The no clown way. is just like, see, told you, ain't no one fucking with Jaren. Nah, no way Goku lost. And this clown is laughing and he moaning right next to me. Is that motherfucking CJ? What the fuck? What the fuck did... What the hell? Cameos. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn, there's a blank camo in this bitch. Uh, cameo, CJ, Philly, Ola, Mars, and a Zeph. God damn. Oh, he pulled out the stops for this one? Okay. Shit. Just shut the fuck up. Put that atrocious ass back. Restart, nigga. Damn it, Goku. I will not lose to a nigga whose hairline starts at the back of his neck, Goku. Get your ass up. Please. Get up. <laughs> Yeah. The ground starts shaking and for some reason, Android 17, 18, and Frieza have one of the hardest flicks for no reason. Wow, Frieza, who Frieza feeling like? 17, 18, and Frieza have one of the Bro, never hits. Bro, there's like mad power right in front of you and they like, I. Right, but we gotta get this flick for the gram now type shit. Hardest flicks for no reason. A ray of bright light comes in and this lets us know Goku is gone. And now it's time for him to face Jiren in round two. He sets his eyes on Jiren, but he can't see shit though. Or is blocking his vision like some dude with dreads. Uh, he rushes Jiren at the speed of light and it ooh. has the crowd shocked. This is low key some type of glaze cause Goku didn't even hit him. Like really look at them. You would think Goku hit him out the ring with that attack. Goku right. hits a flip and makes direct eye contact with Jiren. And that shit was making him uncomfortable. So he tries punching him and he smoothly evades. Hits him with the spin move and they both clash. Goku's gonna hit a step back into the pit and Jiren lets him down. Ooh. But he's not concerned about that. He's so astonished at his power, he's just looking at his hand and automatically leaves Jiren. Ooh. And he keeps up blazing. 
He manages to graze Jiren, and that was enough to sound the alarm. And the pride troopers rushed to his aid. And I remember watching like, nah, bro, this is really crazy. Jiren was beating him, stepping on him, and damn near killed him. But one small scratch really caused him to get jumped. Nah, the pride troopers got no honor. They try attacking him simultaneously, but this is free eats for Goku. Saw the both of them and started emoting. He finally got some people to cook up for a change. He catches both of their attacks and tosses them away. And then Toppo started key spamming, uses his fingers to fire multiple blasts at Goku. But he's just walking through it nonchalant. This angers Jiren, causing him to hit the bruh, king ball bruh, and bruh, to stop bruh, bruh, from bruh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Like not even attempting to dodge, it's just like he's just moving. Like, you know how, like, you move with a sense of urgency to dodge. and nigga just, like. Like, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll move out the way. Like, who you feeling like, bruh? Do it nonchalant. This angers Jerry, causing him to hit the King Baldwin to stop Toppo from doing this weak shit. And keep in mind, he's not the leader for his universe or the Pride Troopers. So how you getting done like this, big bro? And nah, I had to take a look at this picture closer, and I'm shocked. You can't be the leader and not be in front of your own formation. All I'm saying is Captain Ginyu not letting this happen. You may be stronger than him, but you don't got the respect. This is a violation. Anyways, they understood he had to do it himself, no Thanos. And Goku rushes Jiren, dodging all of the attacks, which is clean and all. But what did he do when he had the ball in his court? Nothing. Put up straight bricks. Because he starts attacking Jiren and gets each one of them blocked. They take it to the sky and they- This is, it's a, this is a cold ass fight. I can see why niggas is watching this one. Cause this shit is crazy. It's, it's, yo, it's not even like power for power. It's just aura for aura at this point, bro. Again, I don't know how they're doing all this without flying, but okay. At this point, Goku feels the old thing running out, so he tries to end things. Hitting Jiren with that double Falco knee, and that shit made his legs look inflatable. And then hits him with the Kamehameha sending him down. And that boy Jiren suit came out cleaner than ever. That beam gave him that full wash. After that, that didn't shit work, Goku does a Hail Mary of an attack and just says, Hey, fuck it. Jumps off fuck the pillar and does the Superman ass punch. And if we freeze the frame on Jiren, we oh could my. clearly see that he's not impressed. He's not <laughs> phased, bro. Jiren causes this big ass explosion. And when the smoke clears, we see Jiren is holding Goku's punch oh back my with God. one hand. He closes his eyes and sends Goku on his way. Oh my and hit God. And was lurking in the shadows, tries to sneak in mid pose. But Jaren still wasn't caught lacking. And this moves us on to the next fight. It was one of those to watch out for. So when I saw him go straight for Jiren, I thought we were getting back to back peak fights. He was able to beat Vegeta and Goku. But I know Champa wasn't trying to see this. And I understand it. Look at Universe 6's team. Other than Hit, it's straight role players. So his best option was to definitely camp like the worm till the end of the match. But here we are. Jaren's clearly playing with this food as he takes bro's arms and makes him twirl around on this loony oh, tune nah. shit. He oh. tries punching him, but Hit time skips. Moon walks behind him and tries elbowing him, failing miserably. It still failed. Yes, Damn. hit on straight defense, but that time Wait, skip. Wait, that nigga got a time skip and still missed the punch? Reliable. Uses it to escape, tries attacking him, and time skips again. Goku's in the back taking a peek at this fight, and the two Namekians attack him. And this is that how I found out different. Piccolo was a light-skinned Namekian. Shit kinda threw me off guard to see that he wasn't affected by the great shift. Hit teleports just to meet Mug Jiren, and he tries sneaking in with a time skip, but gets red like a book again. Damn. He's gonna try something slightly different though, as he hits a double time skip, but he just ends up getting his hair in the oh. face. Two time skips and you still get wailed, bruh. Like, you still get your face caved the fuck in. He tries tripping Jiren, but he jumps up and does 30 flips. What the fuck? And his dumb ass is just standing there looking okay. up to get hit with a oh. double kick to his oh stomach. Oh my god. Bro just likes taking free nah, damage, this I different. guess. Hit teleports and Jiren was there every step of the way. Aim assist was going crazy. And Stop time skipping, nigga. It's not working. Holy. Oh my god. You keep time skipping into this nigga's punches. It's like you want to get hit at this point. Read the rule. I guess. Hit teleports and Jaren was there Bam. every step of the way. And Bam. Assist was going crazy. Bam. And hit like, was by that code. I'd rather go 0 for 30 than 0 for 9. Because you go 0 for 9, that means you stop shooting. That means you lost confidence. Yeah, bro. Anything but passing the ball. But since it's hit, he's losing brain cells. It turns out Hit doesn't have CTE after all. So now it's time for all that pain to mean something. Hit throws an attack to distract Jaren, makes him block, and ends up teleporting behind him Ooh. to land a direct hit. Ooh. All he had to do was see one go in, literally, because the attack pushes him back through the rocks and Damn. Okay, the stage, okay. And it traps him in this time prison. Hit thought it was checkmate, 
And with a move like this, it should be over, right? Yeah. No, nigga. Jiren starts moving and defying time itself. And this. Yeah, no. I don't. I seen all I needed to see, bro. This nigga's reading time skips. He's fucking beating the fuck out of Goku. Treating him like a little slut. And he's. He, bro, he's walk. He's frozen in time and starts walking anyway. What the fuck kind of shit is. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? This nigga's supposed to be frozen in time. How the fuck is you moving? Run. Oh, God, run. This is the shit I be talking about. Dudes really be asking, nah, how's Goku gonna get past Infinity to hurt Gojo? Like, Dragon Ball characters don't be doing straight BS in the show all the Dude. time. Hit's original plan was to keep him there until the end of the whole tournament, but it's clearly not happening. So he takes a chance and goes for the finisher. Jumps up with his fake ass Rasengan, and Jiren blocks the attack with the glare of his eyes. Like what? what? The nonsense didn't end there. As he was fully able to move his arm and crush his attack, escaping the prison. And Hitch just looking like, how? Hold on, bro. How? No. You the fed? How you? I'm saying, how? Like, talk to me, bro. All hopes of Hitch winning the fight is officially you done now. I know Champa seeing this and is falling to his knees. Jiren yeah. attacks him and is looking like he's firing straight LMG rounds at him. Spamming him with the attack and it flings him away. He Jeez. crashes into the rubble and Jiren teleports to him to finish the job. The blast sends him up, much like his first victim, and he hits him with the same emote same again. Po oh my god. Oh, I, I send that nigga, just Sent that nigga back to the stands. Go sit down with the rest of them, bro. You not him. Walk through time now. Man, fuck this shit. Ribian. And here come the plate cleaner Chompa, ready to yell. You telling me I give you a hundred million dollar contract? I give you the keys to the team just for you to lose before fucking Ribrian, nigga? That's fucking mall. <laughs> Do you know how crazy that sounds? That's like saying Kai Sinat won't hit a three the entire game just for him to grain that motherfucker at the end. What well contested? Get the fuck off my team, nigga. Oh, relax. You wasn't winning shit with that created team with $15 ass lineup anyways. Just shut the fuck up. I know damn well, Party City Joker is not talking shit from across the arena. After Jiren cooks four oh opponents straight, God. he acts top him. <laughs> so who's left to fight me? Uh, just Vegeta, big bro. Big bro? Vegeta? Yeah, wake me up when this shit over. Y'all got it. Understood, big bro. Big Man, bro. you're probably wondering, <laughs> damn, he got his guard down, so why doesn't someone just push him off the stage? And someone did try that. They were just too sorry. This man right here jumps at him, tries punching him, and gets locked up by pure aura alone. Aura, and the worst bruh. part is, they didn't even try to kick him off the stage for that. They just let him take the walk of shame away. But let's get into the next altercation. So Goku and Jiren were running the ones again, and it was looking like it was going to be a round two. But then out of nowhere, Vegeta comes here in come and Vegeta. starts attacking Jiren, and he's not impressed. Not he's even at Vegeta face. like, Who's mine is this? You put him on the team. Go home. Oh. He elbows him and throws his head straight into the ground, making him eat straight rock. As he's knocked down, Jiren ups Ooh. the key blast, looking to take him off Save the arena. Then Goku saves him by kicking him away. And then he charges Wait, right at Jiren. Wait, are we trying to see some generational jumping? I, I think, I, honestly, bro, as of right now, it looks like jumping is the only way to go. Either jumping or plot, bro. And he hits the gum gum gattling. Bro, you are not Luffy. The last punch pushes him back and causes him to dribble off the ground twice and be in pain. Jaren gives him no room to breathe as he TPs and clashes elbows with him. Then he bonks him in the head and peep how he does Vegeta. This is how you know we're reaching new lows. He's gonna go in running and yelling and gets hit with the back push. Sent away with no eye. Bro, no. Oh my God. I said move, bro. This, your, this is not your fight. Look at his leg, bro. Sent that nigga flying, bro. Contact nothing, just pure disrespect to the prince. Goku tries getting back with an uppercut and gets kicked away. Vegeta Damn. recovers by hitting the gay dog sit, jumps up, gets his leg caught, and gets spun around and tossed. Like a slut, bro. Yo, he keeps doing this. Is the fourth time. Look! And gets spun around and tosses. Look at this funky ass, bro. Toss this nigga like a rag. Right! It's goofy ass spin. Jump away. He lands and flies right back at him. And Jiren hits the gum gum gathering. But what Jiren doesn't know was Vegeta was studying this very attack and he sees right through it. I thought he was about okay. to get ultra instinct. Had me ready to switch up like KD. Even the punch itself was leaving an imprint on Jiren. And he okay. was looking shocked. What? Thought he was out there doing something for real. Beerus and Reese weren't helping either. They were talking about some, is he knocking on the door? But that shit was all cat. They had to change the animation for Damn. him. Damn! Damn! 
Oh my, okay. On the door. But that shit was all cap. Oh my, bro. The force of that punch is nasty. Oh my god. They have to change the animation for him getting his ass beat. Vegeta does multiple flips to make us forget about the slap. Chris Rock should have taken some notes. Vegeta fires the Gala gun and he casually just backhands it away. Oh ben Jaren runs into him. Oh Look. my god. Oh my god. Yo, you get fucking yeeted. Bam. You flying backwards. You're like, all right, while I'm flying, bang. Nigga like said, move that shit. Cram again? While you're still in the midst of flying from the first punch this nigga hit you with. Looking like Cash Nasty got a gun and he casually just backhands it away. Ben Jaren runs into him. Oh, uh, bro. And mind you, he's chasing this nigga down from when he hit him before and he was currently flying. Looking like Cash Nasty posting up Kenny Chow in the paint straight fouling. Jiren then punches him and that's... Wait, that's how Cash Nasty be balling? Looking like Cash Nasty post... Nah, this nigga move... Nah, this nigga hoop like a fucking jail nigga. Okay. God damn! He chow in the paint, straight fouling. Jiren then punches him, and that shit was sculpting his face like some clay. Gets a clean hit to his jaw, oh and it was all going oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. Gets into the air oh, and right oh back my down, god. Hitting the reverse Kevin Gates. And oh into the my the god. And explodes. This shit had Vegeta looking crazy. Before he got into the fight, his fit was clean. clean. Now it's all cooked. He even got a chip in his armor. Ooh. And the way he was standing, I could tell he's about to start yapping. And he did. Nah, fuck this shit. I'm tired of you, Jerry. Is it Ola? You're strong, six foot. Probably fuck so many bitches. And don't have to worry about having a shitty hairline. I hate niggas like you. If you're really like that, don't move a muscle. But you know, that move doesn't do shit. Shut up, Kakarot. Yeah. yeah. After that happens, Jiren does the most evil shit he's done all day. So the smoke clears, and we see that he's laying there pretending Man, to be down. This makes Vegeta drop his guard down and start laughing. And I just knew the fight was over, but not in his favor. Jiren teleports, completely wiping the no. grin off his face, and puts him in a ball oh. of pain, just straight torturing him. Jiren just looking at him like, yeah, where all that laughing shit now? And Vegeta just explodes. The next scene, he falls down into the floor, creating his own version of the Yamcha. Oh my. Nah, this is sick work. And of course, you know Jaren had to end it off with a back turn. <laughs> Doing this in front of two Super Saiyan Blues is insane work. He basically called both of them a bitch. I turn my back, nobody gonna do nothing, nigga. Oh, you fucking crazy? Oh, I'm so, oh, oh, so sick of him. It's so fucking safe in here, nigga. I can turn my back, I do whatever the fuck I want, nigga. Who the fuck gonna do what? It didn't he even said, stop I'm there, so cause look at the Zenos. Wowzers! Jared is so cool and radical! Of course it's Phil. Of course it's Phil. I'm not done. I'm talking about spectacular, collecular <laughs> with a bachelor. Let him cook now. Give him a spatula. <laughs> but yeah, you really know Goku's outmatch when he starts using his brain for real. So for his first idea, he goes around using instant transmission to plant landmarks. To maybe, just maybe, get an opening on him. It doesn't work though as it explodes and Jiren shows off his 90 inch vert. He jumps all the way up in the air what and Goku the charges up a destructo disc and throws it at him. That's too easy for him though as he punches four of them and takes the last one and holds it like a frisbee. Look oh at that form. My God. His ass could I'm be Michael the whole logo. He throws it at the platform Goku's standing on and makes it fall over Chop and bitch. Goku leads him to the edge of the platform. Then he tries slide tackling Jiren making it flip over and go to the very edge. And now Goku has him right where he wants him. And Jiren comes back, Goku tries to punch him, gets his arm grabbed, and Jiren punches him square Damn. in the chest. And as Goku hey, is falling, Jiren's about to go for another hit. And this is where he makes the high IQ play. He uses the Destructo Disc to cut the platform Jiren's standing on and makes him fall off the map. That's what I'm talking about. That's that hidden IQ we be having. Tight and shit. he got Krillin in the stands looking like a proud father. Goku teleports and says, fuck you, and spikes him down. Ooh. That boy Goku really thinks it's Smash Bros. But as Jiren's falling down, he has that inner Spider-Man dialogue. No way. It's time to get up. Somehow makes himself light enough and strong enough to jump off this small ass Pebble? pebble and continue. Off a fucking pep. Okay, this nigga is ridiculous, bro. Jumping off of pebbles, bro? Off pebbles, bro. Off pebbles, bro. Off pebbles? He's jumping off the falling debris like Spider-Man. 
and gets back on the arena. That shit had me lost as hell, but oh, hey, no. let's just move on to the next fight. So Jiren comes in walking through the extra landmines Goku placed to flex on him and show him that he got no effect on him. Not even the drip, still clean mm. as ever. That shit is some high quality fabric, gotta be made by Virgil. He then rushes Goku and hits him with the right, jumps after him, then Goku hits this- I thought it was uh, over, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, bro, don't ask me what that is. But Jiren catches the leg and throws it. Bro, this nigga don't be playing fair, bro. He don't be playing fair. He'll grab you and like keep just... Bro, he give niggas the Hulk treatment every single time. This nigga is not, nah, he not playing fair, bro. He not playing fair, bro. Him down. And then he's just gonna get up close and personal for no reason. After that, he tries hitting him with the ground pound and Goku creates space away from him. And Jiren really cannot stop flexing because he throws a punch so strong that it made Goku lose hope. He de-transforms right in front of him. And you're just staring at him like, <laughs> Now that Goku's guard was down, he just started hitting him with Bluetooth attacks. Got bro hitting the Mr. Crocker. And then he gets slammed into the wall. He's doing bro greasy. Vegeta had to step back in with that low battery pose. And now they start transforming. Goku goes Kaioken and Vegeta digs deep and goes Super Saiyan Bluer. Look at him walking up first bro, we see the form. They start their joint attack. They were actually doing good. The okay. attacks were pushing him back. But as you know, looks are deceiving. Because they ended the joint attack with a final flash and Kamehameha mixture. And it connected, okay. but it does absolutely nothing. And with shit like this happening, they had to add another member to the jump session. I, I, oh God, I'd back out. Uh, add another member? I, no, I'm backing out. I'm not playing. We're not playing no more. And I'm going to save that for a part two. Thank you for 561k. We moving. Also, I got a gaming channel now. Y'all know the first game I'm playing. Don't even ask. Hey, man. Has he uploaded? Has Super uploaded on the gaming channel? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No. Oh, yes, he has. Yes, he has. Okay. 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 Look at this. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say no. But no, he, he uploaded. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? Doing some stuff, man. Shout out to that boy. But that was a good video. Very good fucking video. Shout out to Super, man. Shout out Super, that was a good video.